Okay, this reading is for Linz. Thanks for the follow. I went ahead and supercharged my David Bowie deck for you. Let's begin. All right, and the number two with your shuffle. All right, you didn't say where you wanted the deck cut, so we're letting the deck cut itself right there. And here's your card, Prince of Wands. Okay, Lindsay, you got the Prince of Wands here, uh, which is a, just a gorgeous looking card, but let's start with the Prince of Wands meeting is a uh, Questing night, this man traditionally signifies travel and progress. This also refers to new ideas and inventions. Looking forward to intelligent and knowledgeable and yet ready for battle and full of fire. And the number two in numerology is known as the peacemaker. The two is almost always gentle, tactful, diplomatic, forgiving, and non-confrontational. Interesting you picked that. And we're in a full moon in Leo right now. It helps you find yourself, what you love, and what you ultimately want to express to the world. The full moon in Leo is the time to find what makes you shine and embrace that part of yourself, despite fear of rejection. The full moon in Leo teaches you to love yourself fiercely and let that love change the world. All right, as you can see here, there's some sacred geometry behind your head helping guide you. There's also sacred geometry. It looks almost like an atom over your heart. You have power. You got uh, crowns on your thighs and around your wrist showing that you are royalty. You are a goddess. So you just need to harness that goddess power. As you can see, all the power coming from your vision. So what you see ahead of yourself, just go ahead and keep that going keep that purple energy flowing around you and uh, the green energy as well uh, these are giving energies these are healing energies so even though there is fire and whatnot that is that is fire is warmth fire is protection from the elements out there in nature fire is a good sign you want fire in your life you are a fiery individual. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't lose that spark. Don't let other people ever dull your spark and your shine. That is important, not just for you. When you're having trouble loving yourself, remember that empathy and that compassion that you give to others is the guidance and feeling you should be giving to yourself and your own self-worth. The proof that you can love yourself is the proof right there in how much you can love other people. You don't need other proof than that. You're on a journey, things are difficult. Feels like you're stuck sometimes. Well, that's what this phase in your life is right about. It's about getting unstuck. And that's what this full moon in Leo is about. You got new patterns, new cycles that you're forming right now new energies that you're forming around you to get unstuck, to do away with all the toxicity of the past. Anything that does not serve you moving forward in a positive light, it is time to disregard and leave behind you. Keep that fiery vision focused ahead and on the future and on yourself. Because the more you look back, that's where the depression lives. Depression lives in the past in all those thoughts, those could'ves, should'ves, would'ves. And the more you dwell on the past, the more that's just going to increase depression. There's nothing wrong with remembering the past. You can forgive. You don't have to forget. But it takes you out of being present. And being present in yourself, being present in your mind, being present in your spirit, and just being. It doesn't allow you to be. And when you focus too much on the future, well, that's those are things that haven't happened yet. You're still trying to manifest them. Keep manifesting them by doing the change now daily in your life because the future well that's anxiety 
causes anxiety, which feeds into the depression. It's just an endless cycle. So this is the time to get rid of those cycles, make those changes in your mind, because everything starts in your mind, right there. All starts in the mind. You think it, then you speak it into existence, and then you do it, because thoughts and words without actions are just that. They're nothing. They don't matter. They're great, that's the beginning, but you need to do the actions. You need to do the work. That's where healing starts and happens by doing the work. And you got all kinds of spirit guides around you, helping you. So use that love, use that light. Don't let anything dim it. You keep shining, you're a badass goddess. <laughs>